Hi, this is Ali and you're watching the ChatGPT features video series on Learn Awesome. In this video, we shall discuss coding with ChatGPT. With the introduction of ChatGPT, the first question everyone had in mind was, are developers obsolete? Is the prophecy in movies like Terminator coming true? To be honest and unbiased, ChatGPT might be, like many of its predecessors, a leap in the long journey to their dreaded future, but not at future yet. Yes, ChatGPT can code. It not only read Wikipedia, it also read Stack Overflow and almost all of the programming related public websites. So yes, it is as good at producing code as it is in producing text. Here I must mention that there is a ton of difference in capability between ChatGPT 3 or 3.5 and ChatGPT 4, which is much more sophisticated in almost every way, including code generation. But even with the advanced version, the capability is limited to writing snippets but not systems. Reason? It has knowledge but lacks wisdom. That must hold true as of making this video, but the reason might also be that people are still learning, if not struggling, to come up with the right prompts to let ChatGPT spit out complicated systems. For simpler tasks, the code generation capability is excellent. It can also generate web content or smell websites with ease. For skilled programmers, it is an excellent aid to speed up development of complicated systems by developing building blocks with the help of ChatGPT. How long before someone digs his own grave by developing a prompt enabling full systems to be generated is anybody's guess. The world will evolve from its current shape and new requirements will spring up. Let's see what happens. For now, you can use ChatGPT to do a lot of day-to-day -day tasks like make it write a function with defined inputs and outputs and let it figure the algorithm to use then. You can ask it to improve or find errors in a code snippet or suggest an alternative or say better implementation. You can ask it why your code is failing. You can use it to create documentation for your function. You can ask it to evaluate your API implementation as a security expert. You can use ChatGPT to explore libraries or methods to accomplish certain tasks. There are hidden gems available to use all over the internet and how better to search the most useful ones than with ChatGPT. You can reduce cost by finding an open source alternative of an expensive library you are using in your work. Yay! But like all open source projects, you may lose the dedicated development team available to you with paid subscription for your enhancements. Doing some proof of concept, ask ChatGPT to come up with scaffolding for your work and even write some sample code point you to tutorials on the subject, or even change the programming language of example code it found to the one you are most familiar with. It is an excellent aid for programmers in their day-to-day -day life. But can you use the code ChatGPT writes for you in production? Don't even think about it. ChatGPT coding is a hit or miss at the moment. While it would try to generate a code as per your requirements, it would leave some essential details out, which would leave you pulling your hair out as not even a junior programmer would miss those. Why? Because it's not a human. What is programming or computer science? It is an aid to real life workflows. A programmer writes code that kind of automates or improves on a real life task. He understands the context in which that code would be used. Anyone getting work done from freelancing sites would know what kind of mistakes happen when you get work done from programmers who have no idea about the final usage as they are not told the context of usage. Same is true for ChatGPT. Either way, the important point is that code generation is really in its infancy and is at least a bit different from creative writing. You must always go through the code generated by ChatGPT in entirety and use your own mind. Ask follow-up questions to improve it. Use the iterative prompting extensively. Ask about the edge cases and error scenarios to ensure they are incorporated in the generated code. ChatGPT is not only a prompt you can fire off questions into, it also comes with an amazing API and you can integrate it directly into your code. Remember you could format output to XML, JSON, HTML and other formats which are understandable by code. Sky is the limit to using this feature to your advantage. You can fire off questions or perform operations or analysis on textual input or documents and then feed the results from ChatGPT directly into the code for post-processing. There are even more options available in API than you have with the prompt where you are in full control of role, context, output formatting, and repeatability. That's right, 
the API allows you to configure ChatGPT to be either repeatable, that is, give the same output given the same input every time, or introduce variability to the degree you want. That concludes our discussion on programming with ChatGPT. Coding with ChatGPT is a vast subject, and we just scratched the surface here. I'll try to come up with more content on that later on. If you found it useful, please like and subscribe to be notified of useful content on this channel. Thank you.